Unless it's actually going to be blocked off by something. Or not. <laughs> oh god. Did I just breathe through the mic? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to, like, limp my way through some dry bones here. Or just take the staircase. Unless... Hmm. Like, maybe there's something else to this. Get there. Hmm. He was like, what are you doing here? Oh, but there's more. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. In fact, it's... It was going to be the Paratroopa Squad, except they switched one for a Paragoomba. It's like one of them didn't even do a good job. After that last fight with me. I don't even know if that's a perfect bonus because they ambushed me. Yeah, I just wasted a fan sticker for that. Whoop de dingle do. Whoa. Oh, would you look at that though? Yeah, it looks like just a bunch of nonsense here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, look at that. I'm knowing more about this. I was gonna say, are these supposed to be the eyeballs? Whoa. Oh, that's how you get it. Uh oh. Goodness me, Mario, you made it all the way up to the tip of this tongue. You impress me, you really do. I'd say what was on the tip of my tongue, but I'm a bit too much of a lady. Just keep your fake compliments to yourself, you villain. You're here for some no good scheme, admit it. Good heavens, no good scheme? That sounds so tawdry. Besides, from where I'm standing, toots, you two are the villains, after all. You're plaguing me at every turn. Anyways, Kirsty, was it? You're delightfully shiny, my dear. Might I presume that you're from the Sticker Star? <laughs> yes, of course you are. How interesting. But interesting as you may be, I'd very much appreciate it if you and your tragically fragile friend made like ticker tape and scattered in the wind. Oh shit, you have to fight him. Oh mercy, this is an exceptional place to do battle, isn't it? I'd say that calls for a little added spice, wouldn't you? I forgot about this too. Every single one of these stickers are flip-flops. <laughs> hey, what did you just do? <laughs> oh, just look at your powerful arsenal of stickers. I'm ever so scared. Who could stand in the face of such a mighty array of casual footwear? I dare say I might even lose this time. Oh, but I think you shall. In fact, uh, I'm going to do a special stop. Hey, there we go. I finally did a lightning bolt this time. <laughs> but that only just did three. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized. Oh my god, I... I just realized it's gonna give away any of the special stickers you collected. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, no! No! Bad Kamek Koopa! You don't do that shit to me again! <laughs> alright, alright, I'll give him that one. Gah, the great Mario! Fighting bravely to the end, unbowed by my mighty magic! So brave! So very impressive! Of course, it's not really just you, is it? No, I know full well that your little friend Kirsty is providing you with all sort of sticker power. <laughs> it seems that things have suddenly gotten interesting. I do look forward to our next contest until we meet again. That guy, 
Ugh. Hey, look at me. I read a broomstick and I was into stickers before it was cool. Psh. He doesn't even know about sticker power. And he's a sore loser. But we can actually open this now. I thought he was going to, like, block this thing from preventing me to do that sort of thing. But we got a tablet piece, so... Oh. Oh god, he's eating us. Shit. Whoa. Well, enough of that now. So now we can head back. And I can actually do that health upgrade on my way back. There we go. See, I told you I would get it. Yeah, I didn't even know you can actually fight Kamek on the tip of his tongue. So now we can head our way back. And maybe I could have enough time to do 2-3, unless I probably wouldn't want to. It's like quarter after midnight, and I know these past few... This past, like, week or so, I've been, like, accidentally... I've actually accidentally been staying up later than I should be. And that's not a good thing, especially during a work day. And that's what actually bothers my eyes. So, one more level. Two, three, Sand Shifter Ruins. I think this is where I use the tablet pieces for it. But I've only found two. And I'm pretty sure there's got to be more to it. Oh. Okay. Hit me again, Wanda. Oh, they shoot it backwards. Fuck. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh dear, I think I'm I think I'm trapped. I think I'm ah! I was like, I think I'm trapped. Um I didn't even know they shoot backwards. Oh, it's gonna get a little bit shorter. Well, I think it's gonna get even more shorter if I squish it. It just, like, leaned forward. I actually want to know what this sombrero does. Oh! Well... <laughs> Alright, uh... I guess I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I, I guess I definitely shouldn't have done that. Ow! Alright. Let's continue forward. Oh, right, it's one of these mazes. Whoa. Yeah, it's it's going to be one of these mazes, isn't it? Well, I should at least know where I'm going. Oh. Why does that take me back to the beginning? What? I didn't even want to do that. Oh god. D Careful. Uh. Woo! Open. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, th this is reminding me of, uh. This is reminding me of Tutong Koopa. Oh wow. <laughs> that actually fucking murdered the dry bones. What the heck? Duh. There. Hell, there might be some sort of enemy around here. <laughs> Not you. Not you, you idiot. Eh. Alright. Oh no, there's more here? 
Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Just keep them coming. It they. Whoa! Oh oh. Jeez, you're jumpy. Let's open up this pit. It <laughs> I love the feeling you get when you pull something in this game. Like it they. <laughs> Oh god. Let's just hope there's a passageway around here. Ah. Oh. oh. I thought I could outrun him. Well, I guess I can outrun him. Just gonna disappear, though. Oh. There's a health upgrade here. Really? Well, this is starting to feel easy. <laughs> this is starting to feel easy to do. And I'm kind of concerned about that. Yeah, there was like no way here. What if I use the lucky cat? I've never seen this yet. Wonder what it even does. Okay, just it just squishes him. It's like, whew. Well done, Mr. Cat. So this is pretty much just a dead end. And my eye is really bugging me right now. I gotta stop scratching it. So I guess we just have to go this way. Ow. Just a little sound effect it makes. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about my trumpet card. Or, trumpet card. You've activated my trumpet card. Oh, that takes you back to the beginning. Well, actually, that's a good thing, because I can go back and do that switch around. The point is to get to the bottom is where I need to go. And I think it's down here. Okay, that's probably too much of the bottom, but I did find this, which is a jackhammer. <laughs> that's funny because I've been hearing jackhammer noises throughout my apartment because they're doing something drastic to this building. Okay, I've never been down this way. Okay. So then... Uh, ow. That's a lot of damage. I guess I just need to go down this way? You know what? Let's just use the trumpet. It's giving me, like, three enemies that I can't just take one turn at a time. Well, actually... As long as I use the battle spinner... That'll give me more turns, but... I feel like I'm just not strong enough. So I just go down here. Oh. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. So then I turn that thing, and then... It'll just have me... Oh my god. Just make me run from this. There. I've done it. I've wasted my time. But it did give me a spike ball sticker. I've never seen that one before. Jesus Christ, that... I never actually thought that would be a waste of time. Just for getting through this level. Woo. Bah! Yeah, I thought, like, there'd be a special room in here, which I... Oh. Oh, hang on. It's a baseball bat. Oh, that's pretty cool. You got the bats, not a baseball bat, but a bat. Uh, ooh. Ow. Okay, I can't. I can't get across here. Oh, wait a minute. I know. I'm gonna have to jump across these sarcophagus. Just like that. 
Now this should... Whoa. This should take me out of here. And there it is. Woo! Holy mackerel. We've done it. Hey, look at that. Well, now I just have to figure out how to get to 2-4 before getting into the final level. And I kind of want to do that right now, but I don't even know if I have all the pieces for it yet. Oh, there it is. Jesus, it took me a long time to figure that one out. So I had to go... I guess the way I came last time. It was actually kind of confusing, so... I had to take a right, and then another right, and then... Keep going left, I guess? Yeah. Until you see a pitfall behind a spike. And then jump in there, and then you come down here. And I think that little mechanism, that V thing, uh, shows up, or like, you have to actually turn that. Oh dear, what do you actually have to do here? Oh, okay. Had to paperize this. Oh man, that took me quite some time to figure that one out. Uh, boom. Uh, boom. There you go. Alright, so now I just have to figure out about this place, because this is where it actually takes you to the fourth level of World 2. But you can't get to it that easily, so you're going to have to figure out going through these coffins. They have to actually... Oh, open. They have to actually figure out how to get to it that easily. And I guess I'll some, grab some stickers along the way. Yeah, like, I had to take a right and then another right and then keep going left. And then it'll take me to this area. Like, holy Hannah. And I thought... I felt like the Sphinx maze was confusing. Uh, and I did grab these spike balls along the way. Because I was defeating the spikes from the previous maze. Holy crap. And it's almost one in the morning too, so once I'm done this level, I'm gonna have to stop it there. I never really thought of how, like, a bit tedious and also very backtracky this game is. Also, yeah, I should have just opened up that third coffin on the far left. But that's okay. Whoa! Okay. Um... Well, I'm gonna have to get to that somehow. Oh, what the... <laughs> I, I got him on the way down. What the heck? At least with these dry bones, they don't get killed that... Like, they don't get killed the hard way. Oh, but I will need that bone. Getting lots of pretty neat looking stickers. Ah, here we go. So now I just open this and... Oh, it's a lot of sand. Uh oh, oh. Oh, but that, uh, that opened up the way very easily, so we can actually get out of here. I told you we could do one more level. So, I think we, could, we can just, like, open up the rest of these coffins. Yep. Bam! Oh, nope, never mind. Never mind, it's a trap. Yeah, no, let's just get out of here. <laughs> I've had enough of this tomb. This tomb ass. Whee! 
So yeah, from what I heard from Kirsty from the beginning, the more enemies you defeat in a level, the more coins you collect. Well, that's interesting enough. So now we got two four unlocked, but we also got two five unlocked too. The Dry Bake Stadium and the Damp Oasis. So next time on Paper Mario Sticker Star, we're going to go through this one first and then go to 2-5. I'm pretty sure this is the last level of the World 2. Like, we're already almost done with this one, so we're almost getting to the second Royal Sticker. From what I've heard of World 3, though, that's gonna be a doozy. Because it has more than 10 levels. So, it's best just to get this one over with next time. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.